Hello, good morning everyone. My bell student is great too. Yeah, so for today, we will continue our lessons in PLPJ in English. All right, nah, and now, yeah, we will learn about something that we always use every day. How many all of you, how many of you that have handphone? Hmm? Almost all of you, yeah, have handphone. What do you use handphones? What is the function of handphone? Uh, maybe some of you have handphone to see a picture on Instagram or social media or maybe for uh, communicate with the other people. Yeah, maybe the function of phone actually is to communicate with the other people to help us to help people easier to speak or talking with your friends with your family or maybe with your parents now uh, mostly in for today because we have pandemic right and we cannot go outside uh, so that's why uh, that's why using handphone or smartphone is a very useful thing to have communication and like this one mr martin using uh youtube using a uh, social media to deliver how Mr. Martin teach you through online media now, this is also communication now, so that's why today we will learn a new thing we will have a new topic in Bible in English about communication tool yeah uh, what kind of communication tool that we can use Alat komunikasi apa saja yang bisa kita gunakan and what is and the function also the same yeah what is the function actually about communication what we are doing now is actually communication communicate because Mr. Martin speak um, even even though just in one way Mr. Martin don't have a feedback from you but uh, I know by all of you watching my video and listening about what uh, Mr. Martin is speaking uh, that is how communication work uh, so what is communication uh, let's us know first about what is communication yeah so communication tools is used to send or receive a message between two person uh, mostly between two person the minimum so actually communication itu digunakan untuk mengirim ataupun menerima pesan antara dua orang nah so basically to have communication to have good communication we need partner i mean when you say something and then there will be a response or answer or a feedback from another person nah that is communication <coughs> I'm sorry to tell about an important message, an important uh, what is it? Uh, an important uh, message and an information from another person to another person. So, for example, like today, Mr. Martin give you new information, uh, and then you listening about what I'm, uh, what am I say. And then actually you have to give a feedback like when Mr. Martin give a question you have to answer the question and that's like a communication jadi percakapan antara dua orang perbincangan antara dua orang even just talking you and your and with your friends talking is other than that's also communication <clears throat> so communication tools actually using your mouth that is a tool to communicate to speak to say something to deliver a message, information, or the attention, uh, keinginan dari kalian. But, <coughs> for today, people getting smart, people getting curious, yeah, how to make an easier way, easier uh, equipment to help them communicate with someone, and maybe with another person in the far, far away distance for certain purpose, yeah, the tujuan tertentu nah now let's see for the types of communication tools nah basically 
in the communication tools if you see from the biology books we have two kind of communication tools the first one is printed uh, printed means using a uh, media like paper media because you need to write it down you need to make a note and then in the uh, on a paper and then you give a paper to another person now what is the example of printed communication tool yang tahu enggak alat komunikasi cetak <coughs> nah sebenarnya banyak dan dari kesempatan menjelaskan communication is to giving information if to giving uh, something to intention to make a uh, new information to another person beri informasi baru berarti pada komunikasi itu contohnya yang paling sering uh, dipakai nah we can see from yes mail or letter nah this is the office the boss officer <laughs> from spongebob nah letter is the basic communication tool right maybe be before in long long time ago before handphone or telephone or internet as uh, had been invented now uh, they use letter from a paper uh, even for uh, the first time when the people can found paper they send letter with animal using pigeon menggunakan burung merpati or maybe using horse or even using um, what is it like any kind of animal that can be trained to deliver letters yang bisa dilatih untuk mengantar surat nah so for the first time there will be uh, there is no post office there is no email internet like today so they use a letter a paper it is it, it, uh, it is actually a paper they write in a paper and then roll it and then after that put in a certain uh, container and then they put the container of letter uh, on an uh, on, on an animal and animal bring the letter to the person they uh, want to send the letter uh, so for the first time they're using animal actually to send the letter so this is the first example of com uh, printed communication tool is a letter and the next one that always giving you news or new information your father or maybe your grandpa always read this thing yeah newspaper yeah so this is a newspaper yeah this one is newspaper so a newspaper is uh, actually is a modern technology even though now newspaper is paper a uh, newspaper itself is readily to find because you can read a lot of news from the internet from google and you can find the video information from YouTube, something like that. Nah, but uh, far, far away before the internet or the YouTube is uh, created, has been created, they have newspaper to get a news information from <clears throat> another area, even from another world. Right. so read the newspaper there is a lot of information any kind of information like not just news you can find like uh, what is it even you can find buying and selling like selling car or selling something in the back part of the newspaper and then even you can find quiz in the newspaper like make a crossword crossword something like that right so that's a newspaper okay so in communication tools <coughs> for <coughs> the first type printed communication tool we have two kind of communication tools letter or mail and newspaper <coughs> okay actually we also have magazine magazine is also printed uh, printed communication tool right the next one is electronic nah, electronic is very very <coughs> common today yeah 
for a communication tool so any kind of things or devices alat yang digunakan menggunakan listrik memerlukan tenaga listrik nah it's called electronic communication tools nah, this is the example ya yeah? phones with uh, many notification with many information from social media <laughs> so the first communication tool electronic communication tools is yeah oh this one you cannot see it nah. telephone cable nah this is the telephone cable okay so the first one they use telephone cable right if you or maybe your father or your grandparents in the 19s or 80s years ago um 1980s 90 80s 90s 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 they still use telephone cable to have communication so this is make uh, the people easier to talk with someone from another country maybe uh, from another region that are far far away from your house and they can communicate just a uh, telephone now nah, but then people always try to invent something new something uh, incredible something fabulous nah, so after uh, they can found telephone cable they found something much easier yeah handphone or smartphone like today <coughs> so if telephone cable you need to plug the electricity power to the electricity uh, to the electricity source but you see smartphone you just bring your phones everywhere anywhere you can call make a call even you can make a video call to try to find a news from your smartphone now so live in today is so much easier yeah you can communicate you can find everything using your phone just in your hands you can find everything okay so that's a uh, types of communication tools the first one we have printed communication tools and the next one and the second one we have electronic communication tools ah, next okay maybe you cannot find this one on your book yeah in the page books you cannot find it so the benefits of the communication tools of course what is the benefit the benefit to keuntungan ya manfaatnya Number one is always up to date with the news information, especially be when you are using electronic communication tools, using your phone, just scroll the screen or find something new in the social media. You can find the news information, but be careful, yeah. Try to find uh, information that really, really true. Karena there is so much hoax. There is so much news that mm, only fake not the fact news jadi banyak berita yang bohong ya bukan berita fakta nah so you have to be careful ya yeah, to find the news or information in the internet the next one yeah we can deliver the message as soon as possible from with the uh, using communication tools is make us easier to deliver information any kind of message or news to another people as soon as possible next social interaction now i will move again yes this social interaction means when you're using your phone especially you can have a chit chat with other parents with a eh, with the other friends with the other people even though just through phones you can have a uh, speaking or communication the next one <coughs> We can communicate everywhere and anywhere easily as much as I said before there will be no border there will be no limit tidak ada batasan to communicate with other people even in the far far away region yeah so this is the benefit next let's move on how to communicate and this is the rule when you communicate especially using phone yeah we talk about using phone or electronic devices <clears throat> speak clearly and politely okay please speak nice 
uh, when you say something please say clear and uh, not too loudly not too softly but people can hear you clear and politely means using kind word using nice word good word menggunakan kata-kata yang bagus yang sopan okay next one do not yelling <coughs> when you calling something especially when you calling your parents or maybe calling your uh, siblings that older than you please do not yelling or do not say it too loud yeah because that is means like you are angry and what for you angry because you want to communicate yeah next use nice word it is the same to be polite okay and then do not interrupt now nah, means when somebody is talking somebody is speaking please listening until they complete until they finish their talking they are speaking and after that you can respond you can give the feedback don't just like when somebody not finish their say and then you want to argue just cut hanya apa langsung memotong pembicaraannya with saying something that maybe is not good something that not appropriate yang tidak pantas untuk diucapkan nah that is not good that's not how the to communicate with nice way okay so do not interrupt and then the next one do not phone or text at late time now this is also the, the important thing you have to respect the person that you want to communicate if it's already night it's already uh, time to have a race so don't phone don't text them you can text or phone them uh, to the next morning unless except it's very urgent kalau sangat sangat mendesak it's very important very very likes your life is will be not safe if you not call them nyawa kalian itu terancam kalau tidak telepon atau tidak communicate with that person so you can try to call or text the person but if there is no answer yeah don't force them to uh, give the answer immediately maybe because maybe they already sleep already have rest nah, so respect yeah next one use <coughs> the communication tool wisely nah, from all of the things that mr martin said because communication tool is very important and it's we can find many things so it means that you have to use that thing wisely dengan bijak dengan baik okay so guys i think that's all yeah that's all for today <clears throat> we have learned a new topic about communication tools thank you for watching the explanation from mr martin and please always use something wisely yes yeah? so, uh, use the technology with in the nice way okay so thank you so much for watching the video we will see you again on the next meeting and good morning keep safe bye bye